something. I see. Ooh, I see you have two, two feet. Oh, go. <laughs> that was so creepy. <laughs> so I it's mean, making me question well, a lot right now. Well, the first question that I have is. Were you expecting less or that more? That could be this. That could be something someone's into, right? Oh, you have three feet. That's the best. Oh, well, we am live no. Near a no. Nuclear reactor. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Crackwisians, and welcome to another interesting episode of Conley's Corner. Yes, I'm Crackwise Magazine editor in chief Kathy Vogel, Fun Bastard Ollie, Mookie, Oscar, Mo, Cappy Vogel, Joe Bot, and the best for last. <laughs> Comedian Mike Conley. Hello, everybody. There's a day for everything. Yes, there is. We we cover a broad band, brand band. We, we talk about a lot of stuff. <laughs> we do. And so sh you should celebrate whatever it is going on on that day. <laughs> August 17th is all about your feet. Ooh. Mm hmm. It's National I Love My Feet Day. Okay. And there are very real reasons why you should love and respect your feet. First of all, they're our primary mode of transportation. When you think about it, they mm -hmm. help us stand, they help us walk, they help us run and swim and dance. And don't say anything stupid like, well, I drive my car. How do you get to your car? Exactly. And how do you press the pedal? With your foot. There you go. Okay. So please take care of your feet. Elevate your feet when you're sitting down and relaxing. Helps reduce swelling helps with circulation, stretching, walking, gentle foot massage are all good for your feet. They carry your weight literally. They get you everywhere. So be good to them. And make sure you wear properly fitting shoes. 75% of adults have foot problems because of poor shoe choices, okay? So make sure your shoes have good arch support. Make sure they fit. I know we women like our pretty shoes, what we call our sit down shoes. You have them on and then you hurry up and sit down so you don't have to stand in them. You can get pretty shoes that aren't so torturous. All right, ladies, help yourself out in the future. So while you're loving your feet, there are some people that really love feet. Right, Conley? That's right. There are, again, yes. another computer that can no longer <laughs> be used. He's got to keep changing IP addresses. All the time. Mm -hmm. And first of all, uh, when, and I'm talking to the ladies about your guys got a foot thing, because uh, as a guy, I would know that. If during happy fun time, yes, and they want to play doctor, okay, but they only want to be a podiatrist, <laughs> this should tell you a little something. Yeah. Especially if they're the doctor no pants podiatrist. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, the coat comes open and things go on, and next thing you know, you got an OF and it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They, what, they initiate the whole concept of shoe shopping, mm, which most men mm. don't like to do. Oh, you're right. But if, if it's like they're in the car popping blue pills to go shoe <laughs> shopping, <laughs> there's something going on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's say that all of a sudden you notice, this is the big one, if you notice that your husband has this inordinate amount of $1 bills, uh huh. okay, and you know that there's a gentleman's club, not really in your neighborhood, but nearby, uh -huh. and you keep going by to see if his car's there, Yes. but it's not. It's next door at the Payless, oh. and he's in there making it rain. <laughs> There's something going on. So. Like he's in there sniffing shoes? But probably. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Scratching himself with a pair of probably. stilettos. Sure. Wearing one in the front, wearing one in the back. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This Got fits it. just right. <laughs> that's, that's right. I'll need a double E wide. I bet you will. Oh. <sighs> I, I think that's probably happened. Yeah. Someone's done that. We're not judging, but you know. No, you got, hey, you know, if you get your freak on while you can, life is short. Okay. Just know that we're watching. <laughs> I don't know about her, but I am. And I don't care. Who knows? Conley <laughs> you get, is full disclosure. If you're getting the freak on, I got a lawn chair and a Yeti. I'll be right there. <laughs> Ah, 
gotta be here somewhere. Ah, oh, hi. Just looking for my innocence after that one. Drink recipe of the week at the bottom of the page on crackwisemag.com. Something that he's going to drink while watching you. Yes. Do your foot whatever you're doing. Yes. Um, also find out where Conley won't be sniffing shoes at. No, no. Okay. And when you're at crackwisemag.com, <laughs> read up on all the wonderful fun formation you didn't know you needed in your life. That's but right. Damn it, you do. And there's stuff to buy, but I don't think we have shoes. No, no, shoes. no not, so, fellas, not yet. Sorry. All right. So I think we've done enough damage. I think we have. Thanks, everybody. Today's episode of Today's episode of Comedy's Corner <laughs> is brought to you by our international shoe partner from Canada, a eh, called Foot Moose. Moose, foot moose, get all your lovelish shoes. Whew. I was concerned where that was going. Foot moose, everyone, foot moose. <laughs> Kevin Bacon sold separately. I thought it was going to involve maple syrup. I didn't know what was going to happen when I he said that. I was thinking moose knuckle, and that was all. Ah, wow. That... Moose, foot moose, get all your lovely shoes. Shoes? Shoes. We're Canadian. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, eh?